All right, well, enough clicking bait, y'all, now. Now it's my turn here. So, worst customer experience at GameStop. <clears throat> uh, so, when I was at the, boon, the Boondock store out, out there, out there, way out there, right? Um, unfortunately, Joey at this point was already sick, and he didn't... Uh, uh, so I had the, I worked with the fish this one particular day and uh, This angry black woman comes in Demanding a cash refund for her Xbox 360 she brings it in um, This is already a pretty I hate I hate doing the console returns because it's usually the most Heated emotional thing ever because most people don't read the receipt which which does say seven day return policy on unopened new purchased merchandise it's 30 days for used things it's seven days seven not 30 for new unopened merchandise so oftentimes even when you are correct and you point out what's on their actual receipt they're already thinking no it's 30 days no matter what because i guess most people like most places are like that so when you gotta tell them the bad news they're just like all right well fuck. well what, what, what you you must help me out here what, what you gonna do for me and it's like trade it in that's all i can really do for you at this point you already opened the shit up you know which i'm gonna do so she comes in she's demanding a, a full cash refund for a brand new purchase xbox 360. now problem one here is that it's long past 30 days it's like 35 days so we're, we're, like, we're like already out of the window of what, what it would be if it was to use console in the first place right so we're already past that point two this chick is missing the xbox 360 power brick it's not there she has the power cord that feeds to the little chihuahua sized power brick, but the power brick is fucking missing. Now, when that's missing, that power brick, if we have it in stock, is like a $70 thing. And, you know, so oh, it's. Oh, I don't remember, man. We had that 1999 brick that's guaranteed. Uh, not to blow <laughs> oh, my God. Are you going to trust the $70 used official brick? Or are you going to get the $20 GameStop brand brick that, you know. <laughs> no, dude. Oh my god, dude. So, uh, yeah, no, yeah. So, just coming in with this shit. I'm just, and so it's missing the stuff, and I'm like, okay, well, look. Problem is, one, I, I can't take it back because you're missing parts of the of the inventory of the product itself. Two, again, here because you bought it brand new. There's a seven day unopened policy, but we we I can't I can't do a return on buyer's remorse. Why do you want to return it? So I have to, you know, confront her about why she wants to return it. You know, maybe it's malfunction. Maybe we can, maybe, best case here, maybe th there's a game not working and I can try the Xbox with a different game and we can talk about solution-based conversations rather than, you know, her accusation that the console doesn't work and she wants to return it, I would assume. I find out, no, she wants to return it because her son got bad grades. Her son, with her, sad, pouting, crying, like 12 years old here, got an F on his report card and she was like, nah, fuck that. I'm gonna turn the console, and it's like, okay, well, so it's like, what do I, what do I, what do I do now? So now I'm like, okay, well, I can't really, I can't do a return policy because your son fucked up. So like, again, you're missing the console brick. You want an out of warranty return, and you want to stick it to your son for his shitty things by putting all the onus on me to give you an a, a, like an out of warranty return policy right now. Like, what the fuck you have? This is stupid. Like, just put the shit in the. Put it in the, and it's working. You're not even saying it's not working. Put it in the closet. I don't know. Fuck. Tell your son to start giving the fuck or whatever, dude. So I'm like, I can't. I can't help you. She's like, Oh hell to the no, you can't. Uh, I am. I'm. I want my money, and I ain't leaving until I do. Just she said. She raised. She raised her voice at me. Said that. Gave me a demand. And I'm just like, Uh, all right. Well, let me talk to my man real quick then. So I, I, cause like you know what I do at this point, right? I'm just. I'm just a minimum wage slave. Like I can escalate it further, but I can't like. You know, it's not my call to raise my voice at her. So I'm just like, all right, well, I'm gonna get Fish. I get Fish, Fish goes over there and talks to her. And he's like, I'm sorry, ma'am, I can't, you know, Fish is like not being alpha about it either. Like, which is probably the right thing to do, honestly, but he's not being alpha about it. He's kind of like, well, ma'am, I can't do anything because uh, you're, you're, you're missing the, you know, even if he was to give her a return, an illegal return, you're, bitch, you're missing the fucking brick. It's like giving, you can't, you can't buy a TV and then like not have the TV stand that it came on or whatever. Like. I, it's not even applicable. It's not even an applicable thing. I'm sorry. It's not even. It's not even accurate enough. Honestly, like, I don't know, dude. Like, fuck. You're missing shit, dude. Like, come on, bro. Like, so, um, so at this point, again, Joey's not there. Joey's sick, dying at his house or whatever the, with the illness stuff, the GameStop aids. So, yeah, after a very awkward like 45 minutes of her being sitting there making things incredibly awkward, refusing to leave and yelling a lot on her phone at both at her husband. 
kind of recapping how we're, we're, we're refusing to, to honor her, her return or whatever. And I'm like, that's bitch, not what kind of fucking reality you exist in right now? That's not what fucking happened. Holy shit. Like, think about how stupid this is. Because the son got bad grades, and you're trying to do that return policy, and you're missing parts of the product I, can't, I couldn't do the return if I wanted to anyway. Oh, and you want a cash return too. You want like you like the whole thing. It's like the it's like the dumbest return possible, right? Um. So yeah, Fish calls Joey at that uh, at that point. You you and him talk for a little bit. Oh, I don't tell him exactly what. What do you what, what do you tell him? Okay. Okay. Very simply, he called me. I understand. He doesn't like the situation. He doesn't want to deal with it. He wants it fixed and resolved. Simple, best solution to this. And I told him. I've fucking told him. Have you politely asked her what's up? They tell me all that. I'm like, okay. Your next step is to tell her this. I will be back in the store on Monday or whatever following day I was going to be in. I'm like, I will be in. Tell her to come and speak to me the store manager personally and i will help her out and he doesn't have to deal with her anymore and then i gave him two other options i said if she refuses that you need to tell her ma'am i need you to politely leave the store and come back when my store manager is here and fish if she tells you anything after that you tell her, ma'am, I'm serious. I need you to come back. When the manager is here, I have to call the cops now. And if she doesn't leave, you call the cops on her and then it's done. District manager's got your back. The store has your back. Simple, easy, done. You don't deal with crazy if people don't leave the property when you ask them to so they can actually speak to the person in charge. You can't help them. No one can help them. There's nothing more Fish could do. He was at an impossible situation. He does not have the power to do that return without fucking himself over. Pass it back over. Yeah, so they him him Fish will talk to talk for a little bit. Um it's incredibly awkward. I I just tell customers, look, man, um I straight up just tell customers who are walking in. Cause mind you again, we're in a store out in the boondocks, so it's not like we're busy. It's like, you know, at most two people in the store at one time. Anyone walks up and is like, hey, look, man, look, things are going down right now. If I were you, I would like come back in about an hour. Hopefully this chick's being really, really awkward. Um, go to Walmart or something. I don't want to tell you right now. If you want to be here, you can, but just know that it's like, it's tense right now. So I would tell customers, I'd walk them over to the PS3 section towards the back right. And just kind of like give them a fill in and like what's going on. Because it, it, honestly, the atmosphere was very, very tense. This, yeah, awesome. uh, yeah, I'm trying to, I'm, I'm trying. She, dude, she was refusing. No, I'm just saying, that's why I was told fish. Yeah. It's toxic. You got out there. So, ultimately, I think we hit the almost two hour mark of her being there, and it's it's actually unreal. You feel like you're kind of in the what's the attack that um that uh, that uh, that Saucy can do with the eye, the Sean gun? Is it the thing the thing where he looks at you and like time stops forever and you're like being tortured and shit? Oh uh, well, whatever whatever that attack is, it's like that. Like, dude, like like th these almost two hours were like super fucking slow and agonizing okay. yeah there you go yeah so uh yeah the, the shit was fucking terrible and I prefer this. I prefer this. fucking That's weep deep. fucking weebs know the answer weird champ <laughs> hey, 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 hey y'all knew though uh, yeah 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 in chat boys Appreciate try that, try oh yeah see y'all yes y'all here that was a weep check weep check oh yeah, yeah claps in chat that. like that i like that um so um yeah what happens is eventually fish gives in and gives her a, a monetary refund which he has no authority to do he just fucking did it and screwed everything in the computer up he gives her a full cash refund to get her the fuck out of the store so here we have a 360 out of out of return policy by over by over three weeks again it was like in, it's all in week five at this point by the way um Missing a power brick for a reason completely irrelevant to its function. And then the system didn't It worked. It did. Okay. It did work. But the point was, it wasn't being returned because it didn't. It was, it was because the kid had bad grades. It was something completely irrelevant. No, no, no. I mean, after. I didn't know if we tested it after. No. Oh. Um, no, it looked fine. It was in good condition. It was missing the brick entirely. I just. So. Yeah. Yeah. It, we, we got fucked really hard on it. But yeah, the, he did the, the, the return. And I was just like. 
I don't know, dude. Like, I was kind of mad that he did it because I was like, dude, that bitch is gonna come back here and abuse that shit again, and that's that teaches them that they can they can do that shit. Uh, but at the same time, though, I um, you know, I kind of get why he did it because, dude, it was it was pretty unbearable. Like, I I we're gonna have to call the cops. I don't know what else to do. I, it was, that's what he needed. To do. But that's what that's what he should have done. Yeah, he should have just called the cops at that point. Like, if you want to escalate it, I, not I, even I, that. You just threaten, and if they actually stay, that means they're crazy, and the cops do need to be called because it's just no way you were gonna help her any reasonable situation. yeah so that is my worst experience um take it all in it was a it's a funny story now but it was an unbearable day that day